That's one way to get our attention, and that's exactly what you want an opening scene to do. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best opening scenes in movies. The beloved explorer lands his dirigible, the spirit of adventure, in New Hampshire this week, completing a year-long expedition to the Lost World. For this list, we're choosing scenes that are actually the first scenes in a movie, which is why, good as it is, Saving Private Ryan's famous D-Day invasion didn't make the list. <laughs> We're also excluding opening credits because we have another list where we count down our picks for the top 10 best opening movie credits. Number 10, Just One Little Girl, The Matrix. Morpheus believes he is the one. Do you? It doesn't matter what I believe. Who doesn't like having his or her head played with? At the movies at least. Get up. The Matrix is one big mind blower of a film, and the opening lets the audience know that right off the bat. From the bullet time fight sequence to the apparent destruction of Trinity. It sets up lots of questions and makes us hunger for the answers. That's impossible. Number nine, trunk full of trouble, Goodfellas. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Goodfellas has a classic opening. We meet three guys on some sort of road trip in the middle of the night. Then they run into that common problem. There's some sort of noise coming from the car. Just what you need, right? Jimmy. What's up? Did I hit something? Only with these guys, the problem's not a flat tire or a noise under the hood. But they know just how to take care of it. Not that. Still alive. No. Number eight, Me and My Droogs, A Clockwork Orange. Stanley Kubrick's exquisitely menacing opening of A Clockwork Orange is one long pullback. First, there's Malcolm McDowell's sneering condescendence, then the incongruous glasses of milk, and finally, the nightclub furniture shaped like very nude women, upon which our anti-hero nonchalantly rests his booted feet. It's a perfect introduction to the cruelty, callousness, and black comedy that follows. There was me, that is Alex, and my three droogs, that is Pete, Georgie, and Dim. And we sat in the Corova milk bar, trying to make up our Razoo Docs what to do with the evening. Number seven, Chrissy's last dip, Jaws. What's your name again? Chrissy. Yeah. Where are we going? Swimming. Who knew that a sexy little midnight swim could lead to disaster and make cinematic history? We don't know much more about Chrissy than her name here, but this gripping introduction to Jaws perfectly sets up the film. It's a tale of ordinary people confronted with an unimaginable terror. Thanks to Steven Spielberg, a day at the beach is suddenly not just a day at the beach. Number six. Jurassic Park. The opening of Jurassic Park looks like some sort of wild cross between King Kong, Area 51, and the backstage tour at Disney World. And Spielberg wisely uses a hint-don't-show approach. All we see of any dinosaur, for now at least, is a sickly yellow eye. Whatever is in that cage is bad news, and we're primed to learn more. <laughs> What 
Number five, bungee jump of death, Goldeneye. You could practically fill a whole best opening scenes list with James Bond films. Who can forget the openings of Goldfinger and Casino Royale? But Goldeneye takes the Bond trophy. We're set up to expect a stunt plane sequence, but then get a heart-stopping bungee jump of death instead. which then eventually takes us into that promised plane stunt. Outrageous and unforgettable. Number four, Fatal Conversation in Glorious Bastards. Even as far back as Reservoir Dogs, Quentin Tarantino knew a thing or two about opening scenes, but nothing beats the opening of Inglorious Bastards. Est-ce la propriété de Perrier Lapadite? Je suis Perrier Lapadite. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer, Monsieur Lapadite. Je suis le colonel SS Hans Landa. Using his incredible ear for just the right phrase, Tarantino constructs a web of treachery and violence that ensnares the viewer as much as the characters. You're sheltering them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? Yes. You want power? You got it. Je prends congé de vous et je vous dis adieu. Number three, the circle of life. The Lion King. Lots of animated films have impressive opening sequences. After all, when you're working with animation, there's no limit to what you can try. But what makes The Lion King's opening so special isn't just the brilliant animation. It's the mixture of a great song with staging and camera work. They all combine to create one of the greatest expressions of sheer joy in film history. Number two, never trust a Joker, The Dark Knight. So why do they call him a Joker? I heard he wears makeup. Makeup? Yeah, to scare people, you know, war paint. Batman is the ultimate creature of the night. So why does The Dark Knight start in broad daylight? immediately we're hooked. And the intricate bank robbery heist, with crooks offing each other at every turn, keeps us hooked. That's funny, it didn't dial out to 911. It was trying to reach a private number. Is it a problem? No, I'm done here. It's also a perfect introduction to Heath Ledger's immortal take on the Joker. And all done without our titular hero anywhere in sight. What do you believe in, huh? What do you believe in? I believe. Whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. If you hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish, understand? <sighs> yeah. Choose your future, choose life. <clears throat> Why would I want to do a thing like that? Are you seeing this? My God. entrees this evening, I have swordfish meatloaf with onion marmalade, rare roasted partridge breast in raspberry coulis with a sorrel timbal, and grilled free-range rabbit with herb french fries. God, I hate this place. It's a chick's restaurant. Witnesses at the scene say that Diego spat in the face of a fan who asked for an autograph. 
He was killed in the ensuing brawl. The fan was later beaten Copy to death this. by right. the angry crowd. Number one, one of those days, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Who knew who Indiana Jones was in 1981? Thanks to Spielberg's brilliant opening, we knew within the first few minutes. He's an adventurer with guts, skill, luck, and a wry sense of humor. That's what scares me. Raiders of the Lost Ark has more thrills in its opening sequence than most action movies do in their entirety. When an opening is this good, you know you're in for a treat. Do you agree with our choices? That I cannot do. What other memorable opening scenes should we have added to this list? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Au revoir! Shushada!